grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. In today's video, I've got a pretty sick solo to show you. Uh, it's going to be circuit board. You can see the guy's stats that uh, that's up on screen here. So obviously this wasn't me that attacked, but still a pretty cool solo. Uh, felt like I should show you guys. Uh, you, you'll see how much DBE he has, and don't be too alarmed, because he did not need that much. You could do it with about 90% quite easily. So, before we go into this, let's look at the base. So, this is what the base looks like, and you'll see that this is an easier version than what you'd normally expect. Uh, usually, there's some rockets here where the flamethrowers are. And normally, where these mortars are, there's a few more buildings than what there was. Um, those buildings on the right here, even if there was more of them, it wouldn't have been an issue for him. Uh, what would have been an issue is the rockets. Uh, although I, I suspect that though, if he had have used uh, Ruka, so instead of using three boats of heavies, if he used uh, three boats of riflemen, and then instead of shocking the boom cannons like he did, he could have just shocked the um, what to call it, the rockets, and that would that may be uh, an unboosted solution for that version of the base. So he's basically just dropped everything all at once, dropped a flare up the top. That's not a great method, really. I don't agree with that. I also wouldn't have shocked these now. I would have smoked. I would have dropped like two smokes. I think that would have been a much cheaper solution over time. So perhaps not the most efficient attack, but um, he still did it unboosted. I mean, granted that this is an easier base. This is the easier version of the base. But one cool thing is his kill spot means he's out of range of these these cannons. So using Hooker, it's a bit easier for him. There's no real splash damage to worry about afterwards. So you can see he was a bit wasteful there. He's shocking this stuff in the back quite a few times more than what he needed to. He also dropped critters there, which held no purpose at all in his attack. And if he had have not shocked that first on that first time, if he had a dot smoke. That would have saved him a lot of gunboat energy overall. So you can see that on the easier version of this base, uh, you don't need to be quite that way. You can do it with a lot less, as you guys seen. And those boom cannons, even without shocking them, would not have been able to take out all those zookas in time, if they could even if it could even reach them all to start with. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, that was the easier version. Maybe we will have the harder version at some stage, I'm not sure. Not every base can be done unboosted, guys, so... But I am going to try to get as many of them done as I can, both the easier and the harder versions. So, if you guys like this, smack the thumbs up button, tell me what you thought in those comments section, and I'll see you guys in the next one.